What's up everybody, this is your boy Wayne here from Cardata. I'm the General Operations Manager. Cardata is a company that takes photos and videos for automotive dealerships. So if you're in the market for a company to manage your photos, your videos, your window stickers, we are that company. Give us a call today at 443-413-5400. But what I want to do is introduce you to our new series, Photo Booth Pros. In this series, we'll be showcasing photo booths and where they're located across dealerships. Not all the time you may have a specific spot to take your photos. If you're a car dealer, you want your photos to be online and you want them to be advertised, you want them to be marketed in a specific way that captures the customer's attention. We get it. We've been doing it for over 40 years. We have combined experience of over 40 years within our management team where we have experienced just about everything there is out there, whether it be just a a photo booth where you're pushing the wall, a photo booth where there's a turntable and you're using a little remote control to turn that turntable, or even pushing the turntable yourself, uh, whether it be a room where you put some curtains up, right? There's so many different things that people call photo booths. Well, we have experience in just about all of them, whether it's already set up or whether we need to come in there and you're asking for our opinion on what color you should paint the floor. Should you put tiles? Should it be a checkered box? Should you paint the walls white or gray? What type of curtain you should hang up? We have all that covered. So in this series, we're gonna showcase some of these photo booths, where they're located, and how we have found the best way to utilize them. And I'm, I guarantee you that some of these photo booths are gonna be in places where you would have never thought, right? but it's all about wherever the dealership has the space to put these photo booths. Again, we have found the best way to utilize these photo booths to create the best professional photos for your website. As we head to our first photo booth, you guys may hear some noise, but that's just because of where the photo booth is located. The photo booth is located within their service department and also within their body shop. So you're gonna hear a lot of noise, you may see some dust, uh, don't be alarmed, that's just a normal part of what we deal with every day. But regardless of all of that, we always get the photos done right for you. So bear with me as we head into there right now. So here's our first photo booth. If you take a look around, probably not where you thought that this photo booth was gonna be placed, right? I know, I get it. It's the same thought we had when we first saw the photo booth. However, we've been shooting at this photo booth for years now, it's been here. I want to show you just a little bit about the photo booth. In case you haven't seen one, this is what the photo booth looks like. This is a photo booth that's on a track system, right? I'm not that big of a guy. So as you notice, I might have to lean my body into it to move it a little bit, right? But look at that, lean my body in to pull it. But it's on a track system. And what we do is we move the walls to what we need, to where we need the lighting to show. So we manipulate the lighting to show wherever it is we need a shadow, we don't need a shadow. This particular photo booth has two lights, one here and then one up here. You'll notice, you'll notice a little, I guess, electrical wire or something running here. We'll pay that no mind. Um, it's not in our way. We don't, we don't mess with it. It doesn't mess with us. We get our job done regardless, right? So here's our first photo booth. You, you see that we're able to fit this, this four-door Jeep in here, right? But I don't think that you'll be able to fit a pickup truck in here. This is just one of the things that we face from time to time. So you may think that, y'all, great, you're getting a photo booth. All my photos are gonna be taken in there. But depending on the size of the photo booth, we may not even be able to take photos of certain vehicles within there. So any type of pickup truck, I guarantee you won't be able to fit in here. Uh, depending on the size of the SUV, maybe a midsize SUV would fit in here, but a large SUV would not be able to fit in here. And then if you are able to fit those large vehicles in here, are you able to actually take a decent photo? Right here, somewhere on the screen, we'll put up what a decent photo is, what we consider our primary shot, our money shot, our first shot, whatever it is you want to call it. Uh, but but we use zoom on our photos. We turn the wheel on our first photos. It just gives it more of an aggressive look for that first photo. But with certain booths, depending on the space, you may not have the space to do that. So then you're gonna get a horrible photos. Your angles are not gonna be good. These are just things to take into consideration when you are considering as a dealer getting a photo booth. 
I would say look into your space where you have, look into the size of the photo booth, and then make, you know, whatever, I guess whatever the money uh, calls for, right? Whatever you can afford. Uh, but here's our photo booth. Now, as we go across the photo booth, I'm gonna show you some ins and outs of the photo booth, some things, some troubles that we run into here and, uh, here and there. As you can hear the noise, we're within a body shop. I don't know if he can capture some of the ground, right? So some of the things that you see right here, these are just normal debris that you see. Now what happens when these things get on the tracks? When these things get on the track, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna block the track. And some, in some cases, we're not able to push this depending on if there's something that is jamming it. If it's something small, obviously we can brush it off with a broom, our hands, whatever like that. But if it's something big, then we don't want to cause any harm to the track or to the booth. Um, at that point, we contact the dealer, let them know that the booth has a, you know, it's not functioning well. In addition to that, you have certain things. Again, we're within a body shop, right? We're within a, a service department. So you have trash and debris that's in here all the time. Now, you may think this is just that one dealership, Wayne, that you're talking about. I get it. I get it. But that's every dealership, regardless of if it's within a body shop, it's within a service department, if it's in its own room with nothing else around. There's always trash and debris that's always around. So that's always something else to keep in mind, right? You may take a look here, right? As you see down here, there's pieces missing down here. Now I'm not showcasing the faults of this. What I'm trying to do is showcase some of the things that we run into as a photography company when it comes to photo booth. However, you don't see any of that in the photos. You don't because we take the photos professionally no matter where you want the photos taken whether it's outside whether it's in a photo booth but I just want to showcase some of the things that we run into because sometimes we actually cannot help but get some of the things in here but it all depends on the upkeep of the photo booth photo area whatever you may want to call it and as we go about the rest of the photo booth just want to point out one main thing here and again this may not be for every photo booth but just where the photo booths are located may cause additional issues for your photo quality. In this case, the photo booth is located within a body shop. Here you'll notice some damage that was done. Sometimes that may show in the picture and we may not have because it's in like almost in the middle of the photo booth. That's because it's placed in a body shop and right behind this photo booth, there's someone working on a car and they had bumped into that part of the panel. So it broke that part of the panel. Just saying that sometimes where these photo booths are located may not be the ideal place for the photo booth to be. So when you guys are choosing your photo booth as a dealer, just pay those things in mind. That's something to take into consideration. There's another one lower here and it's the same exact scenario. There's one here. There's one down here. And we try our best as a photography company to not showcase those things, obviously, because we want professional photos for you because it not only helps you, but it also helps us because we're the ones that stamping our names on those photos as we take them for you to showcase on websites and third party vendors. But again, we do everything that we can to take the best professional photos for you, no matter what the circumstance. So you may think that this is probably a worst case scenario that we chose, but as you'll see for the rest of our videos in this series, that we have many, many examples like this. Some are better, some are worse. The idea is not to point out the flaws within these booths or these rooms or these curtains or whatnot. It's to show you that no matter what, we are the professionals that we say that we are and we could take the best photos for you and we have the best experience over 40 years combined experience of taking photos no matter where we're taking the photos whether it's outside in a photo booth in a photo room covered by curtains does not matter car data is the company that you want to call to handle your photos so what I want to do really quickly won't take too long is just show you how we manipulate the lighting and the walls of the booth to take our photos so here I have our money shot, what we call our money shot. It's the first photo, two times zoom with the wheel turned. Counted my paces out, framed my vehicle in there. Boom. Now just picture maneuvering the lighting the way that we have it right now for all your exterior shots. That's what we do. Then we move the lighting for our interior shots. So I want the light to face directly inside.
you don't want to leave that vehicle running in here because that may cause a hazard for your health. Cut that vehicle off. I want the lighting in facing inside so that way you get the best lit interior there is without getting your shadow. Every now and then you may have to bend down so you don't get your shadow in there. Boom. Now, you may notice that's just for this area, right? So I'll do the back seat, the front seat like that. However, to get your interior shots, like you're getting your dash or you're getting your overhead shot, you may have to move where you have both of the lights facing on the inside. Right now, just about right here. Perfect shot. I'm gonna take a photo so that way we can showcase what I'm seeing before I even get in there. And now I'm gonna take that other shot to show you what I'm talking about. But again, just apply that uh, manipulation of the lighting or you know, uh, positioning the lighting for all your interior shots. Just wanted to quickly show you what we do and I'll give you a little taste right here on the screen where you can see those photos. Reach out to us if you have any questions, comment below. My name is Wayne with Car Data in this series of Photo Booth Pros. Talk to you soon.